Hello children. Today we will learn how does anyone go in space. This can be we human beings or the man-made satellites that we learned in the last chapter. As we all know, we cannot go into the space in an ordinary plane because we need to get away from the strong force of Earth's gravitational pull that keeps us attached on the Earth's surface. Hence, a rocket, which is a special vehicle, is used to go into the space. The rocket is used to launch any load, which can be a satellite or human beings sitting in a spaceship, to go into the space. Now let us learn how does a rocket works. The rocket is launched from a space station on Earth. The load is attached to the rocket like the spaceship in this example. It can be a satellite too. A rocket needs to burn a lot of fuel to make energy. When the rocket is launched that is ready for liftoff, it gives out large amount of gases. These gases that comes out from the bottom of the rocket pushes against the Earth's surface and hence the rocket moves upwards at a very fast speed. Once up, the boosters in the rocket continues to push it up. Once the rocket is up in the space, the rocket falls down and the load is left into the space like this spaceship. Then this spaceship can go on its mission to explore other planets. If the load on the rocket was a satellite, the satellite continues to orbit around the Earth as we saw in the previous chapter. Who was the first person traveled in space? Yuri Gagarin, the first man who traveled in space. Now let us see how human beings landed on moon. Can you tell me who was the first man who landed on the moon? The first man on the moon was Apollo 11 commander Neil Armstrong. He along with Edwin Aldrin and Michael Collins were the first visitors on the moon and made history on July 20, 1969. He brought back samples of moon rocks with them. The moon has many mountains on its surface. It also has pits called as craters. Some craters and mountains are so huge that we can see them through the telescope from the earth. You know what is this? This is the footstep of Neil Armstrong when he stepped on the moon first time because the surface of moon is covered with dust and most amazing thing is that if you go to moon today you will still see these footsteps this is because there is no wind on the surface of the moon unlike earth there is no water and air on the moon so there can be no life on the moon you know that sound can travel through air. So, as there is no air on the moon, there is no sound on the moon. The moon has weak gravity, so it cannot hold on the gases to make up an atmosphere. Without atmosphere, it becomes very hot during the day as the sunlight directly hits the moon and it becomes very cold at night as the entire heat is radiated back because there is no atmosphere to hold it. So the astronauts need space suits to move around the surface of the moon. The space suit provides astronaut with everything they need like oxygen and it also keep them at a comfortable temperature. Hmm, are you feeling heavy on earth? Then maybe it's time to go to the moon where you will experience much less gravity. Since the moon is smaller, 
hence it has very less mass and hence it pulls the objects towards its center with very less gravitational force compared to earth so if you stand on the surface of the moon you will experience only 17% the force of gravity that you experience on earth so if you weighed 100 kg on earth and if you stood on moon your weight will only come as 17 kg on the moon even though you are the same person with the same body mass isn't it interesting that's all for now kids bye bye